Star 17 has come to an end here in Nassau, Bahamas, and I think it is safe to say that the event was a complete success, but don't take my word for it. We're joined with the CEO of IRCA here in the Bahamas, Stephen Burrow, who is going to talk about the event in its entirety. Stephen, how are you feeling? It's been a fantastic week. Um, you know, the, the reaction from the international participants, the learning for our local participants, um, all of the arrangements have gone and exceeded even our own expectations. It's been a great week. Now, we had a lot of discussions, a lot of intense conversations. What was the biggest takeaway from this year's GSR? You know, one of, one of the things, the GSR, the theme, living in a world of digital opportunities, really identifies for us that, that digitization of the world, we're, going, we're moving into a new era as the world where ICTs, information and communications technologies, are really taking us into areas that, that we never really anticipated, could not have anticipated. The rise of artificial intelligence, something that you'd have seen only in sci-fi before, uh, cloud computing, the internet of things where every single thing you have is potentially connectable, um, really raises a whole, uh, raises the bar for regulation. Um, we as regulators, as governments, policymakers, have to really think about how we shift the paradigm to combine things that were regulated in totally different ways, that were controlled in totally different ways, to, con to combine all of those things and ensure that we, we look at and take care of the things we have, to do, we have to take care of for our populations, whether you're in the Bahamas or wherever in the world you might be. Um, it's, a new, it's a new era, a whole new paradigm for us, and we're preparing for it. And this, this conference has been a great opportunity for the, attend for the attendees to really start grappling those, those major issues. Now, of course, the participants benefit greatly from symposiums like GSR, mm -hmm. but let's talk about how IRCA, as the local regulator here in the Bahamas, benefits from it and then the country in general. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, as a regulator, IRCA is always governed by international best practice. Uh, the telecommunications, the electronic communication sector that we regulate cannot be regulated in a solely Bahamas context. We have to regulate it. It's interconnected with the world. And in addition, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing new we're, we're not making this up as we go along. So we traditionally, and we have always been a, a significant part of that international community because that's where we learn how best to regulate our own market. So firstly, I mean, we, we gain by having, bringing, bringing the world here to showcase that, that we're serious about what we're doing, um, that we are on top of issues and that, that we have our own experiences, our own learnings to contribute to the bigger, bigger wider, wider topic, wider discussion, um, and also, to give us the opportunity to help shape the dialogue, not just to be a participant, to carry on, you know, to, to roll along. We had great input into the, into the agenda, into the topics that would be discussed. We had that opportunity to be, to be in it from the ground up, which has been, it's been invaluable as a regulator. We've, we're walking away with our, you know, our, our brains truly stimulated and, and figuring out what, what do we get to do next. It's great. More than 400 participants from more than 80 countries, and we had an opportunity to sit with a few of the participants in here who had nothing but great things to say about the conference, about the country. What does this mean for the Bahamas? Well, you know, like everything else the Bahamas does, it's better in the Bahamas is not, the, the world feels that. They always feel it. And um, it's a fantastic thing when we can bring, I guess, a new audience to the Bahamas. You know, we, these aren't people who are usually on our, on our list of visitors. And they've been wowed not only by the conference, but by what the Bahamas has to offer. We have had a great opportunity to show them some of our culture, to show them, I mean, the scenery, you know, they walk in and from day one they're wowed. Um, and I don't, I don't know, we know that here, um, but we don't often get to see people truly walk in and be totally dazzled by what, they, by what they're seeing because so many of our tourists come from the same market, so they're accustomed to it. Most of the people that have come to this conference are newcomers, and we hope that a lot of them are going to come back. You know, the social activities, I think, were hit with a lot of the participants. They got down to business, of course, in the sessions, but were really relieved to have that, you know, um, that avenue to relax and interact mm -hmm. in a, di a different atmosphere. Talk about the thought about, you know, including Bahamian culture and that really relaxed environment for the participants. You know, people, people think of the Bahamas, they think relaxed, they think laid back, they think, uh, and it's really good to be able in a, with, with all the best of, of, of the ITU and all the techie people that are here, they're not accustomed to having this kind of interaction at all, um, certainly not at a conference. So being able to mix the Bahamas' culture, 
the bah what the Bahamas has to offer with the ITU technical discussion um, is one, it, it, it really opens up their minds, um, but also in a lot of ways it, it highlights what, what, the, what IRCA thinks and what, what we're hearing from the government as well in terms of how technology and what we already have to offer can be combined into a, into a truly mind-blowing experience for anyone. Great experience, wonderful learning experience for IRCA. What happens next now that all of the, the hard work is over, the planning is over, the discussions are done, what does IRCA do with that information? Yeah, well this afternoon, or sorry, this morning, we were able to adopt a new set of best practice guidelines for regulations, regulation of, of the electronic communication sector in the Bahamas, well, for ICTs globally which really chart, as I say, the way we as regulators, government as policymakers, look at the sector as it's developing and growing and start thinking about how do we incentivize people to join the sector? How do we, how do we encourage business? How do we make sure that the populations in every country that, that has attended this conference in every country in the world um, benefit from, from the, the digital explosion that we're experiencing? And, the, the, those guidelines, having been adopted here in the Bahamas, have our stamp on it. And for us, that's, that's a major thing. Right, so thank, thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on a successful conference and good luck moving forward. Thank you. Thanks for being here.